Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Impossible Mowers. Today's the day. I've been talking about it for a while. You guys have been hearing me talk about it on other videos. But we're going to be hauling out the Husqvarna. We're going to be hauling out the Poulon. Maybe the Cup Cadet. I really don't know. It needs more work. And then uh, that second mower over there. But I'm not going to get the Craftsman too involved until um, I'm ready. But we're going to be going up, and uh, I'll show you in the video, we're going to be driving up to the site, this little uh, woodsy spot that's just been, it's been like, it looks abandoned, it's, you know, we got stuff on the stone wall, and it's just, there's a lot of sp uh, space there to park, uh, you know, cars or something, and I just wanted to clear it out, but another reason why I wanted to do it is we're going to be putting these mowers through the test, this is the test, I mean, we have a heavy ass log splitter, I mean, this sucker, it does not look it, but it is quite heavy. And you can see here, it requires a ball hitch receiver. So, because Leroy has the ball hitch, I'm going to drill out a hole off camera with um, my drill for the pull-on. And the pull-on is going to be hauling the log splitter, not only because it's got the V-twin under the hood, but mainly because the tread is a lot more aggressive. So, because we're hauling a heavier item, it's not going to want to slip going up and down the dirt trail. Uh, I'm going to try to use the uh, our little driveway pavement to go up, but if it's closed off because of a vehicle, we're going to go down through the trail and go up the dirt trail, and we're going to need as much traction for that. We're going to have this sucker. Um, I don't know if my tongue on the trailer is long enough. If it is, we're going to use this to hold the trailer, but if not, I have brand new ratchet straps. We're going to get rid of these... Uh, um, jump leads, um, I forgot what they call it, jumper cables, but yeah, and we're going to be using this rack, now you, I, I believe I told you guys about this, but I bolted in, it's nice and sturdy, this uh, rack that I made, I mean it's not the best rack, but beats having to pay 80 bucks for, you know, a really nice one, and I do want a really nice one, but this one isn't bad, so I got this rack so we can haul the um, uh, leaf blower, weed whacker, hedgehog, just like stuff we need, I'm not saying we need those, but I'm just like, you know, for example, um, I'm going to be using this to haul a lot of stuff, pretty much. It's like a pickup truck, but for a lot more. So, we're going to be hauling gasoline, I believe, yeah, gasoline, um, jumper cables, um, not these, of course, these small guys, um, and just some other stuff. So, this is going to be really, really awesome. We're going to be able to put this into use, um, and also... We got this mower looking dialed in, guys. I mean, I didn't make a short about it because I kind of wanted to save it for a surprise. Um, I didn't actually make the short on how I fixed it. But look at this. Wheels are straight. You'll see it better when it's outside. But what I did to fix it was I mounted a steel plate across the arm of the spindle. And now... It's freaking tough and it works very well. So the, this baby got a full tank of gas. She's ready to rip Old Harriet is back with us today. The pool on it's been reliable. I just haven't used it because I Really haven't had the need to use it um, This is a dual po purpose mower. It does have the purpose of mowing the lawn and going on the off-road trail so what I'll probably be doing is um I'm gonna keep the blade deck on this on purposely when we go up because um, there is some mowing that we gotta do up there as well. So that'll be pretty cool. But uh, keep in mind guys, what we did with this blade deck is, you know, we upgraded it. We are not using cheap parts. I mean, I have Oregon G5 Gator blades. We have, in my opinion, the best spindles you can buy. Um, and these nice tires. I mean, V-twin under the hood, you guys know the deal. This puppy can do it. And I'm not worried about us hitting rocks with the blade deck because we've actually softened the trail up a little better. So we could take this puppy up there if we have to. And the Craftsman too. You guys see I got a brand new tarp like I showed you from Harbor Freight. Uh, we will be using this today only if we get stuck. Um, but I think I might just bring this up anyways just because we're going to do a lot of tugging involved and with the two mowers occupied with their attachments um, I'm going to need this machine so um, that's what's going to be happening so I'm going to be showing you guys what we're going to be dealing with up there but I mean these mowers are going to be put up with a load 
Um, both the Husqvarna and the Poulon are going to be working their ass off. I mean, we're going to be hauling these equipment all the way up to the top. And then we're going to mow, um, leaf blow, and then we're going to hedgehog. Just kind of get it nice and cleared up. And what I'm after is there. there's a lot of wood that's got to get pulled out from the stone wall. But also there's a lot of wood that's in the bushes that's got to get chopped, cut, and put in the trailer. And that's where the log splitter comes in handy. So we're going to be putting that trailer with a heavy load on it. I mean, I'm going to be topping that puppy out. I got ratchet straps to secure it. But, um, I mean, this is the test. I mean, we're going to be seeing what these automatics can do and what that pull-on can do. I've been talking about it for a while. But this is the kind of the show and tell situation. I've showed it. Now I got to tell a tale. So we're going to be seeing what happens. Um, I'm really interested to see what happens because both of these mowers are pretty equaled out as far as off-road ability goes. Except this one does have the downside of the tread. So it's really going to be interesting to see how this performs with a heavy load up and down a dirt trail. My guess is it's going to do amazing until I have to leave the trail. Because you guys know coming up from the trail there's an articulation spot and I'm pretty damn sure this mower is not going to pass that with a heavy load on it. Um, but I'm going to try to see if we can't make it so that we can go up through the pavement side to catch a little more traction. Either way, these mowers are going to be working hard. So we're going to see if we can't put our fruits of labor to the test. I mean, we've been working on these for a while. We're going to see what we can't do here. Um, so I'm going to cut the camera off here. Just figured I'd jaw for you guys a little bit and just kind of tell you what's going to happen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to haul out the Husqvarna, pull that puppy out, and actually attach him to the trailer. i got to empty that puppy out. I have two empty coolant jugs and some wood in there. I'm going to throw away the empty coolant jugs and then take the wood and probably put it near the campfire where we usually cook out. And then we're going to be putting the pool on in the shop so we can drill out the hole, put the hitch receiver in there, haul the log splitter and the Husqvarna with the trailer up to the top. So that'll be interesting. So without further ado, guys... I'm going to cut the camera off here, um, but I also want to let you guys know, I hate to keep John on, we have a lot of videos coming up. I know I told you guys I'm only going to be posting on Fridays and Saturdays, but I'm thinking about just going back to the Fridays and Tuesdays thing because there's a lot of content I'm pushing out here. Hypo gave me a huge order, big thanks to them, but I'm not going to spoil it to you guys because there's a lot involved. We're also going to be doing a little chainsaw repair. I mean, there's a lot that's going to be happening on this channel, so stay tuned and um just want to let you guys know that. So now we're going to see if we can't do a little uh, switcheroo here with the mowers. Alrighty guys, we got her dialed in. Got the old pack plugged up into her. I accidentally left the lights on so it doesn't turn on its own anymore. I just got to keep charging it.
right, I'm gonna let that puppy warm up. And uh, we're gonna put the pool on in here. Use that uh, drill bit, so I'm gonna stop the camera here and pull this puppy out. Alrighty guys, got that thing all set. We got the pool on running good. Ready to go. happening up here I think we got enough space but you can see all this dead stuff and all this gotta go and there's a lot of mowing over there we gotta do so I'm gonna cut the camera here and uh, see if we can't find a good parking spot for this log splitter alrighty guys I got the log splitter I actually kept the mowing the log splitter where it was when it was parked um, and I came down here to grab this and the other tools I don't know if you guys heard it but uh, during the video while I was recording it started backfiring and sputtering I don't know why it was doing that um, I think what happened is on the front of the motor not this one but there's a choke valve that is not uh, I have not hooked that up yet so when you bounce it enough times it's really loose and it'll go choke not choke choke not choke and I think mine went into choke so it was stalling out the motor that's why I was starting to backfire a bit because when you have this on higher PMs and it's on choke it's gonna backfire because it's like it's getting choked of air but I'm demanding more air at the same time. So the motor is just kind of like, what the hell? So I'm gonna bring this up with the supplies. We're gonna ratchet strap them onto the back rack here. And uh, we're gonna have a look at that pool line because if that doesn't work, we are in a jam because that's what's gonna be mowing and hauling the log split around. So I think it's just the choke, I'm hoping. But this sucker, I mean, listen to this.
started to die out, and I'm not sure why it started to die out. I think it may have been on choke, but we're going to find out.
looking good. I had to shut this baby off because she was just backfiring and backfiring and she was not liking it. And when you start having a motor that starts backfiring and popping, you're gonna blow something up. So just stop and let her cool off and try to diagnose the problem. Um, I just needed this mower to mow. I really only needed this mower to mow. Um, apart from towing the log splitter, but you know if we ever had to leave it here That's why we have the second mower in command and the Husqvarna so we can have more than one way of towing this stuff out of here um, But it's not running right. I don't know why it's misfiring heavily um, I definitely know that it's not getting the right air to fuel mixture So it's probably just something small like having to tune that on the carburetor. That's why I really wasn't too concerned about it um, But it was popping pretty bad. I was getting a little concerned so Just stopped right there but I mean it did its job I cannot say that it did not do its job and it's looking a lot better already I mean all we've done is just mow the place so much more to do we're gonna leaf blow us and then we're gonna grab all of this wood out we're gonna take all of this wood here on the stone wall wring it out and just try to do as much as we can today um, and then try to grab this out but this might be a more than one day project um, but yeah what we're looking at here. I think I'm actually going to take that log splitter and just move it over here. If you want, you can uh, actually move that right next to the Hulan, yeah. And we can just grab it out when we're ready. It's the first time the trailer's actually behaving with us. Apart from the tire. Yeah. Perfect. All I gotta do is bring the Husky over and uh, Get down to it. Alrighty guys, so one of the big things to hit on the list is all this stuff to get off the stone wall. Um, that's going to require some rigging. I might just use ratchet straps. Just kind of see what happens. And then, uh, you know, clear all the side up, get a chainsaw, chop it up, which I don't think we'll be able to do today. But uh, I do want to get this big limb out of here. And then we're going to grab that log splitter, slap it on the next to this... Uh, wood pile in fact I might just slap it right here I don't know and then we'll just chop the wood load it in the trailer and see if these mowers can haul a good load because I definitely want to overload the hell out of this trailer and just kind of see what these mowers can do um, yeah so these mowers are definitely gonna get put to the test yes sir yes sir well I'll get right back to you guys when I'm done refueling the weed whacker the leaf blower the log splitter just gotta fuel that stuff up I brought the fuel on the back of this beautiful rack on this Husqvarna and then uh, we'll really start recording when uh, all that's set up and we start splitting wood and tugging the stuff off so uh, give us a little bit here and we'll be right back alrighty guys so I was actually thinking change of mind here um, we're gonna have the log splitter moved back over here and I went a couple times around with the weed whacker just to kind of clear out the area a little bit. But I would like to tug this stuff out, get this huge branch, tug that down, and then that huge branch, tug it down. And I just don't want the log splitter in the way. I figured I'd do that first, kind of set those big pieces off to the side so we could split them another day. And then uh, get straight to the log splitting, which I'll probably do that off camera since, I mean, you guys don't want to see me splitting wood for like an hour and 30 minutes. Even if I speed clip it. I don't even think my battery's just going to last that long with this heat that we got out here. It's about 83 degrees out, so it's nice and hot, but um, 
I figured we'd do that. So we're gonna do a little tug of war with the Husqvarna, see if you can do some of this stuff. I'm telling you right now though, that one, it's gonna do this. It might do that one because it's requiring me to go uphill. I'm gonna need backup and that is what the Craftsman's for. And if we really need more backup, we have the pool on. But I really wanna refrain from using this because I, you know, it's just not working right and I don't wanna hurt it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Guys, a little, little tug of war. We got some rope. So we're just gonna run it through all this stuff and just yank it all back. Um, good, good amount back. I'm talking like right up to here. And then uh, hook onto that piece of dead limb. Tow that with us as well. And the same for that big one. So without further ado, I'm gonna cut the camera here and we're gonna get ready when we start rigging up. wasn't too bad. Gave me a good fight though, I will say that. I can hear my belt's not happy, it's flopping up against the idler. Um, and I don't blame it. So, I think that's good enough. Just because we got it to where we want it. I just wanted it off the rocks, and it's off the rocks most of it at least. So, this small stuff we can just do by hand. This stuff isn't even... Besides that piece of wood, this is all just debris. So I guess now what we'll do is move on to this big one. It's a nice easy one, maybe, hopefully. And just see if we can't pull it down. One fear I do have is I'm gonna gun it and I hope it doesn't fall on me, it shouldn't. But you really never know, it's very unpredictable. Uh, but you know, it'll be fine. So we're gonna get back to you guys and we start rigging this thing up for that big long piece right there because that was pretty interesting. It, she did it right here. All right. All righty, tug of war number two. That's interesting. It looks like it's jammed right there by these two big ones. I say 
say we keep tugging. Let's keep yeah. tugging. Let's keep tugging. See what happens. If we have to, we'll grab yours and we'll both tug. That, that was, was something. Inches, inches away from hitting that windshield. Whew. Professionals. Wow, dude, that freaking lifted my ass up. Crazy. That worked perfectly. It was. I saw I was coming for this log splitter, so I turned this way and just slowly started going forward because I don't want to hurt that motor. I just replaced the gas tank on it, and it just wow. barely grazed this windshield. Damn. Not even a mark on it. Lucky me. Do not try this at home. Yeah, right? Well, that was a big one I wanted to get down because if that stays up there, all these roots are going to spiral up on it all over time. You can actually see it started doing it already. It's just all these roots and all these vines are just coming up on this thing and just killing it. And there go my dogs. Jeez, that's a big one. Not too big. I mean, it's not like redwoods over here, but you can see this is where it split right off from the base. For it to haul my ass and lift it up like that, that is saying something because these mowers are not light. You know, you're looking at a good two to three hundred pound mower plus my weight on there, plus you know that's two three hundred pounds no liquids i mean we're talking we got oil on board we got fuel on board full tank of fuel so i'm shocked but i'm happy it did it it just makes me wonder if i'm even going to be able to get this one down what i might have to do with this one is rig it right down this trail and instead of hauling up use momentum to haul it down that might be what we do Cause it's a pretty it's a small one and i don't think it's going to have as much grasp as uh this one did but good lord she did pretty well she sure did now my Ooh. question is where do we put this because <laughs> yeah that's a good question. um i could just leave it on the side over here next to this fat one for now yeah for now in fact i think that might be what i don't want to drag it down the trail because we just cleaned the trail Whew. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. Now, if it was Chuck, that would have been very interesting to see because that thing is fast. Yeah. Pulley swapped. Fast. Yep. Whew. Blows my mind away. Didn't break a glass and we didn't break a break log splitter. So let's go for part three. We got two out of three. Harriet wins. I just want to see what we're looking at here for a tie down. Not bad. All right, let's see what we could do. I'm gonna cut the video here and uh, see what happens, but I'm gonna come back to you guys when we get this all rigged up. I decided that I was gonna pull up because if I pull down, it's gonna have the same effect that it had with this big one. It's gonna wanna lift me up and take me places. So for safety, I'm just gonna pull up. And if it doesn't work out, we'll get it with the chainsaw later.
we use this, you hook onto the bumper of mine and we both tug together. Yeah? Sure. Um, if you want, to come but she's just not not cooperating we'll have to save that for the chainsaw or we'll have to tug it but with uh more mowers i think it's what we need we need more muscle yeah good track too yep all right well we're gonna unhook and uh stop it there i guess all righty guys i think that is it for today the husqvarna and the Craftsman 2, although they are reliable, they are feeling the heat a little bit. I ran these, I ran this mower, the old Husqvarna, so much that the battery actually charged up, so I don't need to jump it anymore, which means I used it a lot. Um, we got that part done, we got this part done, we mowed it, weed whacked it, hedgehogged it. Uh, we still gotta do some more hedgehogging around that part, and definitely a little more on this part. We got this, um, all this wood brought back from the stone wall. I will be bringing it back more, but I want to keep it there on purposely because when I get the chance, um, we'll definitely see if we can't make a next video on it. Um, we're going to chop them up, put it in the trailer and haul them. I know I said today's video we were going to do that, but I mean, with the situation we had, you guys seen it, it was just a lot of tugging and a lot of pulling today. We didn't even get to take this down because it was just on there so much. So what I'm probably going to do with this is we're gonna move the old Roadmaster out of the way and I'm gonna grab the Chevy and we're gonna tug this thing out because uh, she's gonna to wanna to get forced fed. It's on there good. It's on there good. So um, if she wants to play dirty, we'll play dirty. So that is pretty much, that's it for today's video. Um, I'm gonna leave the log splitter down over here and I'm gonna leave it there because the next video we do testing out these mowers, uh, I will be having the pool on 
hopefully up and running again. I'm definitely going to make that priority now since I know the problems. This is the first time it's acted up on me. And I think it's just a simple carburetor tune because what can happen is vibration over time can loosen the idler screw or the air fuel mixer screw. And if it gets too loose, it'll run lean or rich depending on how it gets loose. So when we make another video, we will be back and we're going to be hauling the hell out of this trailer with the automatic, hopefully maybe even Leroy and the Cub Cadet and these mowers here. I mean, it's a group effort. You can see why I wanted more mowers because because I mean, because this thing was down, we couldn't use it. So we had to use this mower to give this mower weight so that when I went to go tug this guy up, it wouldn't wheelie because it wanted to wheelie and it did it so much. So if we look at the back of this hitch, you can see we bent it up. We oh, bent man. this butt up. And that's because this is supporting the weight of my mower lifting up. And that is a lot of weight to lift up. And these hitches, they say they can't handle it. I say BS, they can't handle it if you do it the right way. Nothing broke on I mean, everything was fine here. Um, nothing bad happened. We did it safely. And uh, I mean, the mowers are still driving. So that's a, that's a plus. Yeah. So with all that said and done, stay tuned for more videos. The next time we'll see these mowers hauling, I probably won't be until a week from now because I have so many videos I have to make. It's just, it's crazy. A lot of off-road videos with this puppy and Leroy, which guys stay tuned for that. <laughs> but I mean, this puppy, these guys, they did it. Served us well. They did serve us well. So with all that said and done, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out that Patreon, guys. Come on. It's a seven-day free trial, and there's a lot of stuff that is for free there, such as videos and stuff you guys don't get to see behind the scenes. And um, I appreciate those who have joined. Greatly appreciate it. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but, you know, it's some pretty cool stuff. So remember, seven-day free trial. Don't forget that. And also, check out the Instagram. We're always posting on that stuff. All those platforms pretty much daily um, or weekly depending on how the content flows in. So uh, yeah, hope you all stay safe and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.